Sagittarius, this is your week ahead astrology forecast by Astrology Motivation from Born Without Boundaries. In these weekly videos, I review the major planetary aspects and transits and how they impact your natal sun and what that means for your bottom line. To enjoy this video, all you need to know is your birthday. That's it. Everything else I'm going to translate for you. We're going to start out really broad with the general stuff and the things that are impacting everybody right now. And then I'm going to whittle that down into Sagittarius specific energy and then I'll break things down into the three decans of Sagittarius so we know exactly how everything is impacting your natal sun and what that means for you. Let's start with the big stuff, shall we? This is for the week of August 1st through the 7th of 2023. Big stuff. Well, today's a full moon. It's a full moon in Aquarius. And a full moon in Aquarius means we're jam-packed, popped with caring and concern about our community, our society, and something's gotta give, especially since the moon is square to Jupiter, which exacerbates everything and maybe makes everything a little bit international, like broader and bigger. And whatever is challenging that energy or making us feel like maybe we haven't done enough or we've contained our caring and we haven't let ourselves understand what we really care about, all of that is going to expand to the point of bursting. We need to release any kind of... Um, we need to release any kind of care and concern of, of maybe what we haven't done or what we should have done or even what we want to do because uh, Aquarius is all about philanthropy and caring about the community and society and the, the world at large. So there could be some major like mind-blowing um, information get, that, really get, that gets released around this full moon as well. Um, it happens on the... Uh, it happens at nine degrees, um, nine degrees Aquarius, and uh, with the sun in uh, with the sun in Leo, of course. Um, yeah, and so let's see. Since Jupiter is in Taurus, this could have some. There's a lot of changing and switching and kind of currency. Remember, Taurus rules finances. So Jupiter in Taurus, Jupiter is in Taurus, so is Uranus. There's been a lot of reconstruction and changing and configuration with regards to traditional institutions. So Jupiter, Uranus uh, rules Aquarius. So um, it's not really in the mix when it comes to this full moon, but since it is a full moon in Aquarius, there's something that's going to pop and it's going to be a bigger pop than normal because it is square to um, Jupiter. This could just mean it's very emotional for you. You know, enough is enough. You've had it. You care too much and you can't hold it in anymore and you're going to do something. So this could be a lot of inspiration to help help others um, in order to feel like you're doing something and that that you're valuable on a larger level than just yourself. Um, on the 8th, the sun is trying it to the moon, which is conjunct the Chiron. So on the 8th, all week long, the sun is trying, uh, the sun is, um, the sun is trying to Chiron. That's actually really healing energy. There's this beautiful sense of, of understanding who we are because of the struggles and the pain we've gone through and feeling actually good about it and learning, learning from the challenges that have been put in front of us. But when the moon conjuncts Chiron, there is a sense of self-acceptance and certainty when it comes from um, what we've learned the hard way, essentially. So as, I'm sorry, as of the 8th, so it's not all week long, it's from the 6th, the 6th of August, the sun starts to try and Chiron and it will continue uh, into next week as well. Um, the sun is square to Jupiter and uh, says a square, which is a uh, says a quadrite. I always say it wrong, so I usually just break it down and I call it a says a square. It's about 150 degree angle to Neptune while being square to Jupiter. And that to me speaks of thinking we can do too much, almost self-deception, delusions of grandeur that need to be challenged. This may not be personally, this may be socially. Um, and so <laughs> we're challenging people who think they're too good or too much or um, deserve 
the, the we're challenging the energy of certain people deserve too much that's what we're challenging um, Mars is trying to Jupiter all week long and that is take action and get this fortune if fortunate things happen by taking action and then we have Venus trying the North Node and Chiron which is definitely something financial smoothing itself over or harmonizing itself as well as figuring out what we love and what we desire or feeling comfortable with our new concept I say new concept of beauty because Venus is also square to Uranus which means it's looking at things differently it's it's taking into consideration different forms of beauty and odd things that now are more intriguing just because they're different or unique so it's 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 a sway a switch or a change in our value system that helps to make up for past hurt and suffering and allow us to go forward yeah I got my fingers crossed for the best to come out of this week I'm just letting you know um, let's go into Sagittarius specific energy how do I find that well I look at what's going on in Sagittarius the zodiac sign number one there's nothing nothing no big deals going on there to be honest um, but Jupiter it's ruling dignitary is active right now it is trying to Mars like we discussed it's gonna move between 13 to 14 degrees Taurus this week it is trying it to Mars which means optimism and energy and luck when it comes to when you take initiative on things the things that you start now could bring a great deal of fortune and then Jupiter's also square to the Sun which is also very optimistic but it could be a little bit larger than life this sense of too big for your britches or um, um, thinking you're more capable than you really are um, and by the eight, the third of this week Jupiter's also going to be trying it to Mercury which by, at that point will be conjunct to Mars Mercury conjunct Mars is our mind and our action linking this sense of doing something or our, our wisdom getting um, getting delivered almost almost like um, you can you can it's like the difference between science and engineering <laughs> it's that kind of it's it's that this sense of knowing what to do now you know usable and purposeful especially since mercury and mars are both in virgo purposeful action purposeful intellect um that's going to be trying it to jupiter so it could be really beneficial and help a lot of people um let's go into the decans shall we so if you know Sagittarius that your natal sun is between zero and nine degrees Sagittarius then it is in the first decan of Sagittarius and you are Sagittarius once um, if uh, so they, for birthdays this correlates to basically November Sagittarius is so anyone born between November 22nd and say December 1st would be a Sagittarius one um, your natal suns are in a long-term sextile to Pluto so people are listening to you there's a power to your character and authority to your nature that people just don't shit with right now and that's going to be for the next couple of years so definitely use that to make the changes especially in your life um, that you want to see um, you're also square to Saturn which means there could be a lot of challenges and restraints uh, restrictions rules laws regulations that are tripping you up but at the same time it's those challenges that will make you stronger that's over the next year but this week through the 5th of August your natal suns are going to be square to Mercury so this is not a great time to do anything that you wouldn't do in a Mercury retrograde to sign important paperwork or sign important contracts or take important tests or this is not a great time I would wait till the end of this week or the beginning of next to actually do anything important with regards to communication or intellect or exchange of information it'll just come out better for you then all right Sagittarius twos Sagittarius twos if you know your natal Sun is between 10 and 19 degrees Sagittarius you are Sagittarius twos this correlates to birthdays between December 2nd and the 11th or 10th or 11th um, your natal suns are square to Mars which could result in greater injury if you push too hard definitely take initiative because of that beautiful Mars trying Jupiter but with you you don't want it to be 
aggressive or very physical because essentially there's higher risk for injury and impulsivity this week so it's definitely something you have to be aware of usually in this aspect i i say before you make any decisions or jump into anything count to 10 so you make sure that you're thinking things through we also have a square to Mercury that starts on the 5th and then it becomes a real kerfuffle. This sense of what to do and how to take action and it being kind of clumsy. It's almost very clumsy energy because there's misinformation or you're stumbling over your words or you're not thinking things through. Things can get really impulsive by the end of this week into next week. So I would definitely say ground yourself in all ways that you can and count to 10 before you, you say anything, jump into anything or anything, especially important stuff. Um, you are trying the sun, so you'll have a lot of confidence and you'll feel really, really good about yourself. Um, you're also trying Chiron, which means there's an acceptance of all the hardships that you've had to go through and a learning from them. That's long term. Um, and you're also quincunx to Jupiter, which means you'll be you'll be inspired to push forward because there's a restlessness about you. So ultimately, Sag 2s, what I would say is there's a lot of changes and beautiful things that are happening in your life and you don't need to push very hard this week. If you do, you could trip yourself up. So essentially, enjoy the peace that this trying to the sun and trying to uh, Chiron is bringing to you. I think it's really important to just celebrate that right now. Um, yeah, let's, let's go on to Sagittarius 3s. So if you know that your natal sun is between 20 and 29 degrees Sagittarius, you are Sagittarius threes. This correlates to birthdays between say the 11th and the 21st of December. Um, or it could also be like the 11th, to the, the 12th to the 22nd. Um, your natal suns are in a long-term square to Neptune, which is easily distractible, but also very creative. So if you take the stuff that's attempting to distract you and you use it creatively finding a creative outlet for this energy is really actually wonderful um long term trying to the south node um at least for the next six months while the south node is in the third decan of aries there is this settling or harmony when it comes to who you are who you've been um what your talents and skills are the sense of really owning it and being certain about it um, there's a quincunx to Uranus, which means you want to change. You want to try different things. You'll get agitated and frustrated by those things that are the ordinary. And um, that's long term. So you want to keep things fresh, exciting, and sexy. Um, and then you have this week a trine to Venus. And that means you're super fucking beautiful, even without trying. There's a very attractive energy to you. There's also financial harmony that could come to you under this, this aspect. This sense of like just uh, just feeling kind of comfortable and feeling kind of good. Some sort of also financial good news, but also beautiful tranquility when it comes to your romantic relationships, feeling really good about them. And maybe because of this uh, quincunx to Uranus, adding some spice in there as well just a suggestion so you guys let me know in the comments below Sagittarius how this energy is impacting you and then come on along to uh, enjoy your week ahead tarot card message on Born Without Boundaries Tarot before you go please subscribe to this channel and like this video I love you guys and I'll see you next week bye Sag